a colorless, transparent, odorless, tasteless liquid that forms the seas, lakes, rivers, and rain, and is the basis of the fluids of living organisms. That is water defined. Water is essential to the existence of man and all living things on earth. People have gone to war for it. Others worship with it, sing and dance about it, play with it, and journey across continents on it. Improving water delivery, therefore, has a direct correlation with the standard of life of the people. Oh, in so to the community, they are very, very important because without water you can not live oh yeah and to me live without water and yet you be break light wa na wuni nsu e hard drink so light no kwa na wo nsu am fisa we your okay if you eat and you don't get water attached to it you can die after air water is the next thing all the other things are not as essential as these two things without a doubt we all agree that water is essential for life and is very critical for sustainable development. However, this is the one resource that all of us would usually take for granted until our wells run dry or when the rain refuses to fall. The good news is that Ghana is relatively more blessed with water resources than, for example, her neighbors to the north. But wait until you hear the bad news. It is now a known fact, for instance, that the amount of raw water available to Ghanaians has significantly reduced in the last 50 years by a factor of three. What this means is that today, the quantity of water available to us per person has reduced to about a third of what it was in 1960, and given our current rate of population growth and other reasons, will further shrink to a sixth by the year 2050. <laughs> When it's about Christmas, we get regular supply. By regular, it means every two weeks on Sundays, we get the water. And then by Monday in, mor in the morning, it goes off. But when it's uh, after Christmas, we go back to our normal state. So maybe for a whole month, we don't have water. Fueling all these complaints are a plethora of factors. Ghana is in a period of rapid urbanization, with more than almost half of urban residents living in Kumasi and Accra alone. At this rate of urbanization, urban water delivery is only playing catch-up. From the 94 urban water systems, average daily output is only about half of the entire daily demand. In addition to stark changes in rainfall patterns caused by climate change, most of the 94 water systems were built over 30 years ago, thus comprising the yield to meet current demand levels. Other challenges include poor water quality as a result of negative agricultural practices, unplanned housing, commercial, industrial and mining activities, all of this resulting in high treatment costs, illegal connections and leakages, non-payment of bills I'm making my blocks to make a small room for packing my things after I finish or after I close. It's bad, but we, we think that, that the water which is going uh, uselessly, that's why we are also fetching it. But we, we know that it's from water company. But it's because of going without any fetching, we are thought that we can use it. I will pay because I'm always being in my place. I will fetch my place and come to make it. From the foregoing bottlenecks, one can therefore conclude that there is an urgent need for improved management and maintenance of urban water systems. As we brandish one accusing forefinger at GWCL for a glass of water that is half empty, as many as four other fingers point to us, the consumers and our attitudes and behaviors towards water. Many of us think water is our birthright and hence do not see the need to pay for it. 
Some of us also think the solution to urban water lies somewhere in the offices of the President of the Republic and his sector minister. Are we willing and able to face up to this truth and also play our part? Yeah, for a reason, yeah, for a reason, and yeah, for a reason, 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 yeah, for a reason. I did something back to motherland, here now forgive me.